begins, I just want to tell you guys all, thank you for the follows. Thank you for watching my videos. I know at times I could be a boring ass bitch. So thank you for like the sympathy watches. Like I really appreciate that. Y'all got me into the thousands. I got 1K subscribers on fucking YouTube. And okay, you guys. So let's talk about the cruel fate bestowed upon Sabrina Spellman's mother. Now, just so y'all know, for this series, I only got about three or two characters left. So we're going to make these last couple videos good. Where do I begin with Diana? Because, honey, when I tell you in the words of Lana Del Rey, she was born to be the other woman, honey. And like, I want to feel bad for Diana. But if y'all watch the Madam Satan origin story, y'all know the reason why Madam Satan became the beast she is is because Diana was the other woman and Edward left her for Diana. But also Edward ain't shit either. So he don't get off either. And in the words of my grandmother, she always used to tell me, honey, you will never be able to build a happy home on the back of somebody else's misery. How did Edward know that he was meant to be with a mortal? He went to the fucking Weird Sisters. Yes, history check. These are the same Weird Sisters from Macbeth, honey. And y'all don't want me to get started on Shakespeare, honey, because I got some opinions about Shakespeare. Honey, I'm a walking no fear Shakespeare. So pretty much these old psychic hotline reject ass hags tell Edward that pretty much if he marries a mortal, he will go down in history and witches and mortals need to start intermixing because witches are going to start dying out if they don't learn to adapt with the times. And Edward just like, okay, he meets Diana and it's even better because she's unbaptized and he gets the blessing from Lucifer. But if y'all watched the um, Edward Spellman backstory, y'all know who his Lucifer is. Is, it's that shape-shifting demon. So he has um, the devil marry him. And then the devil is like, I pronounce you witch and wife. You may defile your bride. And of course, Diana takes a ride on his magic stick. And nine months later, October 31st, 1951, she gives birth in the morning time to Sabrina Spell. As we all know, the two sisters are plotting to get Sabrina. Edward and Diana return home on All Hallows' Eve. And you know, that's a sacred holiday for witches. And all the witches of the coven arrive for the Sabbath because, you know, Edward is the high priest. But Zelda and Hilda came to collect Sabrina because, you know, they did help magically fix Diana up so she could have Edward's child. Edward goes to collect the child and Sabrina and Diana are gone. And he knows exactly where they went. Poor Diana, she's trying to get to holy ground to find to give Sabrina her best chance at life. And But you cannot escape into the woods, Diana, and expect them not to find you. They're witches. Witches are the woods. And he magically zaps Sabrina away. And Diana's like, how? Because she's replaced with a doll. And Edward hands Sabrina over to his sister. And then Diana attacks. Part two of the tragedy of Sabrina Spellman's mom, Diana. So at this point, Diana don't got nothing else to lose. She lost her baby. That's the thing she most cares about. She just gave birth. She's probably in pain. So she's in the woods yelling at the witches like, I'll tell everyone. I'll tell the whole town that you're witches. And see, what I've learned in life, you never pull somebody's hoe card. And when it comes to Edward, the weapon is his hands because he got the magical hands. So what he does is he tells her no one will believe you. And he puts his hand on her head, pretty much burning her skull while burning her mind into um madness and he put her in a mental institution but get this are you guys ready true horror fans if you're ready listen to this she is at the mental institution right locked in there forever guess who her fucking doctor is dr fucking saperstein now if you're a true horror person who know your characters that is the doctor from rosemary's baby and then like look how much of a piece of shit edward is he's like uh poor diana i wish there was more i could do for her bitch you did it so now since he institutionalized diana and everybody thinks she's crazy nobody's gonna believe her if she ever did slip and her mind came back and said that they're all witches and edward leaves the mental institution to go meet and oh my fucking god i love this art because they look so sinister and waiting outside the clinic with sabrina um, is Zelda and Hilda waiting to know if they've been compromised and Edward confirms to them Diana's lips are sealed and so was her mind for that sake and guess what they get away with it but see here's the thing though Edward thinks he got away with everything but if y'all watched his origin you see what the two people he trusted ended up doing to him so I guess the next person that we have to talk about since she's the center focus of all these characters is the main character herself Sabrina Spellman and boy 
does she have a lot? Like, wait till we get to Sabrina's dark, satanic baptism. <laughs>